Oh, hey guys, hey. how's it going? I'm shaky, we have to stop walking. So we're just in Ottawa now. I was here all week for sales meetings. Oh, this is my sister, by the way. So she came and met me for the weekend. Uh, we got here last night, but I was just so tired from my work week that I wasn't vlogging, but I thought I would vlog this weekend and take you guys along with us. So right now we just had breakfast. It was pretty good. We went to, what was it called? Zach's Diner. Zach's Diner, it's pretty good. And now we're at Rideau Center, the mall. It's a beautiful mall. So we're just gonna do some shopping. Of course, we were saying that we basically are just doing whatever we would do in Calgary, going for breakfast, shopping, so it'll be fun. We've and spotted in Sephora, so we're so going there I mean, next. We gotta get there ASAP. So we've got some metallic lip trends happening. I think Jessica said she would like to try it out. So here we go. Here we go. Mir mirrored nude. Could there be anything better? We're liking these metallic lips. We're just checking them out. Let's see a swatch. Let's just swatch this baby. <laughs> okay. Lavender Moving patina. on. Lavender patina. Oh, they don't, they, you need to get like a little like. Oh, all right. Okay, round two. Back to Which the mirrored nude. Which one is this nude. one? Mirrored nude. I'm just gonna test it out. I'll give you guys a little swatch. Hmm. Nope. <laughs> nope. Okay, so far, you guys, I don't know how these metallics land. Oh, that's nice. That's really pretty. Over like a nude matte lipstick. That looks that's, oh, that looks really that's nice. That's really actually. pretty. The camera's picking it up nicely. Really pretty. Do you guys want to see another color? Yeah, do one more. Maybe do like a more kind of exciting one. Okay. Uh, let's try this orange. This looks cool. All right. You guys, that's really nice. I picture that for the spring summer. Yeah. Over like a coral, maybe like. I like it, but it, that one also doesn't look as metallic. Do you know what I mean? You're very bossy. Okay. Mirrored nude. It should say first one. Goes Great with call. everything. Great. Guys, look at what we found. We found this little like backdrop thing and these nude like nude lipstick. I'm. We're totally gonna take a picture and put it on Instagram. I feel like we're the only people utilizing it, but we don't care. So. Check out my Instagram at Kelsey Chris and Beauty if you'd like to see this action shot as a photo. I want these. Oh, yeah. Exclusive at a Ritz. Just trying on a nice little like long vest dealio. Yeah, I'm coming. Looking good. I really I'm like buying it. it. Are you? Oh yeah. I really like it. Isn't this little seating area in Nordstrom so adorable? Like. That is just a little bit of inspo right there. Guys, look at what we found. So excited, never been to a NYX freestanding store. Ow, my hand is shaking, it's all good. Let's go in. Um, yes please, we're totally gonna try out these. All right, so we just got back to our hotel. We're in the cutest little bar at the hotel. We just ordered some wine. And we got a little charcuterie board on the way. So cheers. And to a little sister weekend in Ottawa. Cheers. Here's this side of the bar. You can see it's super, super cute. And like those lights at nighttime, like that'd be cute, right? You guys look at how good this charcuterie board looks. And that's a little kale Caesar salad over there. This is just exactly what we were looking for in this moment, right? Right. Wow. So this is the hotel room. It's actually super <laughs> nice. Like, just so attractive over there. But you can tell this is kind of like an older hotel, but they've actually done a really good job renovating it. I think it's kind of cool. It just looks model like this. Included. The model included. Has this little like mirror and like closet and can't see over there, but yeah, it's actually a pretty nice um, room. I just went and got us a bottle of wine, which by the way, alcohol here is way less expensive because it's like part of the government funded or whatever. All right, LCBO for the win. I'm just watching some YouTube videos. Who are you watching? We'll tag Mariah Leonard in this nice. little vlog here. Love her. Okay, let's crack this wine. 
All right, guys, I just got back to the hotel room here. We had a nice little appy, and we have a few hours to kill before we are going to dinner, but I just wanted to show you what I picked up at the NYX store today. Uh, this is just a little SC nail polish over here. I just painted my nails with it. I mentioned this in uh, my recent favorites video. This is in the shade, it's not focusing, Perfect Posture, it's called, though it looks like this. Sorry, the lighting here is brutal. There's just not really a lot going on in this hotel room. But we were so excited to go into the NYX store. They literally have every product there imaginable. I wanted to get those liquid uh, drops, those like total cover drops, I think they're called. They didn't have my shade though, or like any shade even like around my shade. So I just didn't, um, oh, my sister's bringing these in. Jessica, they had her shade. This is what it looks like, the Total Control Drop Foundation. She got the shade, uh, it was 10. I needed, buff. it was in the shade buff, she just said. But yeah, I, I needed like, I think it was like six and they just didn't have any, but these, the, they looked awesome. So um, hopefully I can get my hands on those soon. But what I got, I actually was pretty good, you guys. I didn't go too crazy. It was like, hard not to because they have like every NYX product you could ever want but um the first thing I got here is this prismatic eyeshadow you guys know how much I absolutely love these eyeshadows um this one I have never seen before it is in the shade rose dust and it is just this beautiful kind of like um metallic rosy bronze shade um we are actually talking earlier that it does kind of look like amber rush from l'oreal but yeah this is beautiful so excited for this guy um I haven't seen these ones anywhere yet this is the NYX duo chromatic illuminating powder and it actually is very duochrome i'll open it up in a second here to show you guys a little swatch but it has this beautiful kind of um like warm rosy shade but then the duochrome goes almost to like a bronzy orange it's interesting i'll show you in a second here um i picked up this brush because i thought it would be awesome for highlighting let me just open it up here so this is what it looks like right here it said number 26 on it in case you were wondering what the actual um, number is of it but you can see how big it is in comparison to um, this NYX prismatic eyeshadow I think it'll be really really nice for highlighting and it feels very soft which normally for highlighting I want something a little bit like coarser but I will have to see how that goes and I kind of like the actual like shape of the brush I think it's kind of unique so I'm really excited about that um, I also got this NYX vivid brights eyeliner um, this is in the shade Vivid Blossom, and it is just like a beautiful kind of lavender shade, which in my daily life, I'm sure my sister is like laughing somewhere over there because I just am so obsessed with anything like pastel. Like, can you guys see her dancing in the window? Like, what a freak. Girl, you know I want your love. Like, honestly, this is going on. I don't on... know any more the words. This is going on the internet, Jessica. Okay, so I'll show you guys a swatch of this in a second too once I open it. And then I have seen these ombre blushes everywhere, like at London Drugs, I guess, in Calgary. But I've never really, like, swatched or picked any of them up. But I don't know why, because they are absolutely beautiful. I got Feel the Heat and Strictly Chic. This one's kind of like nudie, and this one has more of like a corally tangerine type of shade to it. So let me just open up all this stuff here so I can show you guys some swatches. We wanted to show you what Jessica bought, so go ahead. So the first thing I got, I couldn't wait to pick it up, is the NYX Honey Do Me Up, recommended by my fave YouTuber, <laughs> Kelsey Kristen. Stop moving it around. All right. The second thing I got is this great NYX, uh, is it a press shadow? Yeah, that's another prismatic in shadow. In the shade Bedroom Eyes. That there's a recent tutorial on this shadow by my favorite YouTuber, Kelsey Kristen. Great. Then, as she already showed you, we got the total cover in the shade number 10, also known as Buff. Well, not we. I couldn't get it. But anyways, I'm glad you did. And then I also got the same two ombre blushes as my sissy. So we have Feel the Heat and Strictly Chic. Nice. Okay. Okay, here are some swatches, guys. Again, I am sorry. This is not great lighting. But they actually are pretty, like, they're showing up pretty true to color, actually, now that I turn this little light on over here. So we're going to get ready for dinner. We have reservations at this really kind of, like, apparently cool restaurant. So we will bring you guys along once we're ready.
Okay, again, you guys, this lighting is so bad, but I just wanted to show you my makeup because I used all that new stuff. I used that new Prismatic uh, Rose Dust Eyeshadow, and I think it is so, so pretty. Um, and then that kind of like nudie peach ombre blush, and then that Prismatic, or not Prismatic, whatever that new highlighter is. And it's so pretty. I like the way it turned out. And now I will also show you my outfit. So here's a little OOTD for you guys. Um, this is a new shirt I bought today at Nordstrom. Um, with this cute little choker you guys saw earlier and then I just have on like ripped jeans and some little booties and here is Jessica's dirty bag <laughs> so yeah this is what I'm wearing this is what Jessica is wearing she has on a nice little like not little it's actually like a super long vest it's huge really cute pants we're just feeling good but it's actually look at how nice her hair is you guys she gets compliments on her hair everywhere she goes. It's actually annoying. Okay, stop it. It's actually so cold out though, so we're gonna take an Uber. That's nice. Yeah, it's really cold out, so we're gonna take an Uber. Can you stop? <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do. So yeah, it's really cold out. We're gonna take an Uber, um, because it, it said it's just like a six dollar Uber ride. But yeah, so we're headed to play. It's called. I'm excited. So uh, we're gonna play. We're gonna play. So just to give you guys just like here in Canada, you have so, a great outfit on that you have to ruin the fucking parka. I'm sorry for the f bomb. Like I don't. Honestly. We don't normally drop those on my YouTube channel. Oh sorry. But this is how angry she but, like, is. Look how ugly this is now. My so it's like. Vest. Honestly, how did this room get so messy so quickly? Like, look at that. That's how I travel. Wow. First of all, who is the three ounce glass of wine for? Like, nobody Babies? Gets that. Who is that for? So we're at Clay Food and Wine in the Ottawa Right and Byward Market. But yeah, Jessica's right. Like, they have three ounce options for the wine as well. But flip over the page and tell them what I just did. Okay, so we're looking at these, you know, little sharing plates. And Kelsey goes, oh, it looks like you can get half portions. And I say, oh, where? And she says, you know, where it says like three ounce and five ounce. And I'm like, Kelsey, that's the wine pairing. So basically, I'm just a huge loser, if anyone is wondering. <laughs> So we're just at a Starbucks right now waiting for our table to be ready at the breakfast place we're going to. It's called Wilf and Ada's. It's been on You Gotta Eat Here, which for Kelsey's American subscribers is the equivalent of Drivers Dine and Drivers? I don't know. Drive, what is it? Dives and Dives. <laughs> you know what I mean. Triple D. Uh, so we're just waiting and then we're gonna go check out Parliament later and we're gonna go for a good dinner at this kind of like pub place, but like a like a fancy pub, sort of like elevated pub is what I would call it. Anyway, we're just enjoying our Americanos and a little almond croissant. I have been a terrible vlogger today. I'm not even really a vlogger, so I should just say I have been terrible at vlogging. It has been so cold here and we realized that the reason it's been so cold is when you're in Calgary, and it's cold out, it's like super dry, so it doesn't like chill you to your bones. It's so humid here in Ottawa that it is like freezing. Right, sister? 10-4. It really has been so cold, so it's been kind of hard to have my phone out. I've barely been taking photos, but what we did today is we went to breakfast. It was really good. We went to a place called Wilf and Ada's. It's kind of like a trendy place. Not quite right downtown, but it was like an $8 Uber. It was really, really close. And then we walked around Parliament and like the Parliament building, which was very interesting. And it like honestly made me very proud to be Canadian. Like this is just a great country. Just gonna throw that out there. So we did that. And then we also um, walked up the Rideau Canal, which is like the biggest skating rink in the world, they said, which is kind of cool, but it was incredibly busy. So we decided not to skate um, just because we didn't want to have to go through the hassle of renting skates and all that. But it was still really cool to be there. And it was so busy because there's this like event on right now called Winterlude, I guess, which we never heard of, but it's like a two week long event. So yeah, that's basically what we did. Again, it was just so cold out that it was kind of like, it was still a great day, but it was really hard to have my phone out. Um, so now we're just back in the hotel room. We're just hanging out for a bit. Uh, I think we're gonna have a little glass of wine. Um, but what else is new? 
that's just what we like to do. So we're gonna have a glass of wine, head down to the uh, hotel bar, I think, maybe have another glass there. And then we're gonna go to um, a pub tonight. It's called the Brig Pub. It's right in Byward Market. We were recommended to go there, so we wanna try it out. Um, so yeah, we are just, you know, basically hanging out for now. We're gonna get ready in a bit um, so that we just don't sit in the hotel room all day. Um, but yeah, so that's basically the update. And I will check in with you guys in a bit. Hey guys, so I feel like all I'm telling you guys this entire vlog is sorry for the lighting, but seriously, sorry for the lighting. We're just at a pub right now. It's called the Brig Pub. It's like right in Byward Market of Ottawa. And it um, it's really cool. It's kind of like dead in here right now, but we are recommended to come here. So that is why we wanted to. But yeah, so we are just gonna have a bite to eat, have a couple drinks, and I think we're gonna head somewhere. We're hoping to find some like live music or something. So that's basically where we're at. I'm gonna end this because I don't need this lighting in my life, but we will check in with you in a bit. Oh wow, I'm looking a little bit haggard here. Um, we just got back from dinner. Again, I wasn't really vlogging. It was just so cold out. It's hard to have your phone out um, when you really are feeling like your hands need to be like in your gloves in your pocket. Um, but we went to that pub we mentioned. It was really good. Um, it wasn't like that busy, but it was still really fun. We were laughing because there was like this full on bouncer, like a guy just like standing there guarding the place when there was literally like seven patrons, but still we felt safe. So um, it was fun though. We had fish and chips and fish tacos it was really good um I don't I just guys I'm just gonna let you know that we're going to bed it's 8 39 we came back to the hotel room and we had plans to like go out and do stuff but I just feel like as we get older we're just happy hanging out and going to bed early is exactly how we want a vacation so that's what we're gonna do um, we're gonna get kind of packed up. My flight tomorrow was canceled. I got an email saying that I, my flight was canceled. Luckily, um, they got me on another one right away, so it's not a big deal at all. But um, yeah, so we are just gonna put on some face masks and hang out and hopefully find something on TV to watch maybe. But yeah, just a crazy Saturday night over here. Um, so I'll check in with you guys tomorrow morning. Good night. Hey guys, hey. good morning. It's our last morning in Ottawa, which is sad. Our, we fly out early this afternoon. It's snowing here, but it, I don't think it's as cold today, do you think? No, it's not. Kind of feels a little bit more mild, which is nice. So we're walking to this bagel place. I think it's called Continental Bagel. Who doesn't love a Sunday morning bagel? I mean, am I right? You're right. So <laughs> we're gonna go grab a bagel. Apparently it's the best bagels in Ottawa and I'm gonna show you guys a little footage of Byward Market as we're walking there because it's actually so pretty. And yes, I will show you that now. So we got some herb and cheddar bagels. They were really good, some coffee. And there was this little like fruit, fresh fruit juice place kind of nearby that in this little market that I think we're also gonna get. 